Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are lucky enough, lucky enough to be here for our, gosh, what month is this? I know I always say this, April. It doesn't feel like it. It's kind of cold this morning. Our April 2019 Coffee Pot webinar, where today we are welcoming Patrick Schweiss from PageVault to talk to us about how PageVault can help us quickly preserve web content. You've seen it before. You're on a Facebook page that shows a guy playing basketball who supposedly has a knee injury, and you want to capture that entire Facebook page or some other relevant content, Snapchat, Instagram, um, uh, and all sorts of stuff. That's what PageVault does. So without further ado, I'm going to let Patrick take over my screen, and uh, he's going to tell us all about PageVault. Patrick, are you there? I am there. Thank you, Paul. I am taking control of the screen, I hope. You are. You got it. Good deal. Um, well, thank you, everyone, for joining today. Now, thank you, uh, Paul. I'm going to interrupt Paul. you because you're in the same mode that I was when I started, and that was our technical difficulty, in case anybody was wondering. We are seeing your your presentation, not your, 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 your actual presentation, not your what you're intending to display. Oh, so we can gotcha. go with yeah, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna. There we go. To, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, and um, when you tell me how you got back there, um, <laughs> or when you figure out how you got back there, you tell me after we're done, because I just, you know, <laughs> I just turned off my second monitor. Is what I did. So go take it away. Uh, good deal. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you everyone for for joining in today. As uh, Paul mentioned, page for what we do is we help lawyers attorneys, legal professionals capture web content. And Paul gave some excellent examples of why you might want to do that. Um, uh, we do lots of social media work, so the Facebook, Twitter, Instagrams, websites, so if you need to capture every page on a website, videos or online files, really anything that you might find online that you might want to use for in your case, chances are PageVault can help. My background, I'm an attorney here in uh, Chicago. And what I've put up on the screen here is really the two main ways that PageVault typically works with our clients. So on the one hand, we have our what we call our page ball browser and that is for users who want to operate the software themselves they typically have uh, you know regular need to capture web content that's a great fit and I'll show everyone how that works here in a few minutes on the other hand here we have our page ball on demand and this is a service for those that want to have a vendor handle the, the collection, um, whether it's, it's just too complicated to deal with or it's just not coming up very often, the need to capture web content. That on-demand service is um, <clears throat> something to consider. With either of these options, at the end of the day, what you are getting out of these captures are PDF files that look exactly like you see the content appear online. We'll talk about that a little bit more. And the captures are also what we call legal grade or legally defensible. Because PageFault is working with law firms and attorneys who are generating evidence, it's critical that that evidence, if it needs to be uh, entered into court, has been collected properly, and PageFault's designed uh, to do that. I mentioned the PDFs. This is what you can expect to see. So we have a, a cover sheet that contains what we call metadata about a web page. I'll talk about that a little bit more in detail in a few minutes. Captures come out looking exactly like the page. And then I haven't mentioned this, but because again, with the, the legal roots, 
page fault can actually provide affidavits or declarations for captures that are made either by the page fault browser software or by the on-demand service. We do affidavits all the time. We probably do three to five every day, just to give you a sense of how often that comes up. I'm gonna kind of gloss over some of these um, problems that I typically hear. Appearance is one of the bigger ones for those that are doing print to PDF or Adobe. For those that have done social media, in particular Facebook, if you've ever had to capture a long timeline, you know that the process of doing such is tedious, labor intensive, having to go and kind of scroll through the page or clicking on the see more comments and see more replies. Um, page Vault actually has a way of automating that. So if this is something you're doing regularly, whether it's you're doing, you know, certain practice areas like insurance defense or family law, employment law, workers compensation, that they're doing Facebook work often. And this is a huge time saver. Uh, the third typical challenge that firms run into, and it's becoming a bigger problem, is capturing websites or some of the more advanced content like videos. Long story short, PageVault can do that for you. This might be something that we have to handle as an on-demand project, but um, more on that later. Um, so I'm gonna pause there. I guess, Patty, are there any questions? I'm gonna kind of switch gears here a little bit. No questions right now. Good deal. Um, so we talked about kind of the, the challenges of making captures and, and some of the things that you might have experienced uh, when making captures yourself. The other pain point that we hear about with, with captures is the legal aspect of it, the, the correct handling of it, all the kind of technicalities. Um, one of the areas where we see lots of problems with web captures has to do with something called chain of custody, which is a term uh, some folks might have heard before. It's the protocol for handling web evidence. With physical piece of, pieces of evidence, everyone kind of knows what to do. You have you know, your piece of evidence, some third party handles it, they store it away, and then when it comes time to getting it into court, no issues. Same process with web captures. Um, for firms that are doing captures internally, like uh, using kind of off the shelf tools like uh, Print to PDF and Adobe and Snagit, they're missing out on the chain of custody. And that's what attorneys are challenging captures on these days. That's really what PageVault's there to kind of cure that defect. We treat your web evidence just like you would any other piece of evidence um, that you were dealing with. I get a little techy here, but this um, next slide is really gonna demonstrate what makes page fault different from, I've said a few times, like print to PDF or Adobe. And this slide is specific to the page fault browser. Most tools out there when you want to go and make a capture, the software is installed on your computer, like you know, Prince PDF or Adobe's on your system. You want to go save someone's Facebook, so you open up Chrome, you browse out to someone's page, you see what you want, you do your Prince PDF, save it to your desktop. That user is now in the chain of custody. So if that capture gets challenged, that either means that person is now doing depositions or affidavits, it gets messy, especially if that person's in the firm. Page Vault works differently. When you install the software and you go and open it up, what happens is your computer connects to Page Vault's computer that's running in the cloud. And on this cloud computer is the Page Vault browser software. So you control this software on this computer. Now you can go and navigate out to that same Facebook page you can make captures. You'll notice that when 
the, the internet traffic is just between page faults and Facebook. Um, likewise, the captures stored for page faults. So that keeps that user out of the chain of custody. And this is actually what allows page fault to provide affidavits for captures that were made um, by you, really, or, or at least directed by you. And this comes in handy quite a bit. I think we've actually got an email this morning about uh, doing affidavits for this exact scenario. So um, I know it's a bit techy. That's what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm going to bail out of the PowerPoint. Um, all right. So what I would like to show now is the software itself. So actually, let me just go back up here. So quick reminder, two offerings. I'm going to show the software now. Okay, so this would be. If, I'm going to show you how you would go make captures yourself, and then I'll circle back. We'll, we'll finish up with the on demand. All right, so the software. Here we are. This is the page for browser. A um, few things to note. This is a custom built browser, so this is not a plug into Internet Explorer or Chrome. This is um, its own browser and you can see it functions like any other browsers you you know navigate around you can go to Facebook or Google or Amazon I am going to go to Facebook and what I'm going to do is make a capture of a Facebook page And being a little pokey here today. All right, first thing I'm going to show is how to just make a capture. So this is the process you would use on any page, whether it's Facebook or you know CNN, whatever. Click on the capture button. That pops up a dialog box asking you where you want to save the capture. So I'm going to just choose this Facebook folder. Um, you can create folders and organize this however you want. There are some advanced options, but for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm going to leave everything alone, and then I'm going to hit save. Once I hit save, PageFault takes control of the browser. So I'm not doing anything here. This is PageFault scrolling through this page. It's capturing everything you see in the browser window exactly as it appears. Behind the scenes, it's grabbing all the metadata, like the HTML source code, the IP addresses, all that legal stuff that um, is important to collect for legal captures. Um, so that capture is done. We'll go look at that capture, that PDF here in a minute. Before I do, I want to show the our uh, what we call our Facebook expander. This is the way that you can automatically open up a profile. So you can open up all the posts, all the comments, all the replies. So you click on that expand button and you'll see this dialog box. I can scroll, I can open up comments, or I can do both. So I'm going to hit both. I'm going to hit run. And again, I'm not touching the software, but you can see PageFault now is actually scrolling through this page. It's expanding posts, comments, replies. If this is something that you or a colleague of yours is doing regularly, a few times a month, this might be a way to save them um, a lot of time. So it's kind of like watching paint dry. So I'm going to Stop this here. I think people get the point. So I'm going to uh, leave the browser now. And what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to what we call a page fault, the page fault portal. So if you recall, the browser software, when you make a capture, the capture gets stored to page vault. To go retrieve those captures, you head to the page vault portal. So here I am. Here's the capture we just made. I'm going to click on this capture. 
and we can look at the details. So you see at the top of the page all these different metadata fields, information like document title, uh, capture, matter ID, timestamps, bunch of different info. That info is all automatically uh, collected. So again, nothing I did to grab that info. On the left side of the screen, I can download the PDF for that capture. I can also grab the source, which is the HTML source code. Most of the time you're using the PDFs, but if you need the source, that's where you'll find it. The capture itself, I'm gonna open up that PDF. So let me zoom this in. So you can see cover sheet, that same metadata that we saw in that last screen. And then scrolling down, Capture itself starts on page two. Capture looks like Facebook, no weird rendering or unusual output. Every page has a footer with some metadata on it just to tie the entire capture together. Um, one other thing we put into the system that is, again, something you put in for legal, probably not for, for other use cases, but overlap. You can see at the bottom of page one, like these picture of these two faces, and you see that at the top of the next page. Um, so that overlap makes each page transition with the next. There's no chance of missing content, no lines of text breaking across pages. It's very clean output. And that overlap continues throughout the capture. Um, so that is the very quick overview of the browser software. Uh, again, meant to be very easy to just pick up, go make captures that are defensible, look good, and uh, move on. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention is, well, I'm going to do two things. First, the on-demand. So switching gears now, going back to the on-demand. Again, this is what uh, the on-demand is a service, so you would essentially be outsourcing work to PageVault. In other words, you're not installing anything, you just say, hey, PageVault, can you guys capture this, that, and the other, and that kicks off a project. And, um, shit, I meant to work back down here. So, one slide on this. You, as the requester, if you have a need, uh, reach out to us. Quotes are totally free, and uh, we love hearing about these types of projects. So let us know what you're looking to try to capture. We scope it out, we give you a free quote. Um, prices start at $99. So this is, uh, we would consider uh, affordable. This is not something that starts at thousands of dollars. This is um, meant to be something you can use and use often and uh, quickly. Uh, so you'll get a quote back from us, assuming you get the approval, whether it's from, you know, the attorney, the client, whoever. Someone gives the green light, we go ahead, do the work, and get it back to you. That means there's no software, there's no monthly fees, there's um, really easy ways to kick off these projects. You can email me, call me on our website, which is um, pagefault.com up here. You can click on this Get a Quote button. Um, you can see examples on our site. That's what I'll say on the on-demand uh, offering. And then last thing, oops, that menu's up there. Let's see if I can get to my pricing. All right, switching back now to the browser. So pricing for the browser software um, ranges really from anywhere from $195 per month all the way up to you know $495 and more, depending on which level of service you need. Um, what we found with web captures is that it's not you know some firms have it's just one person that kind of handles them. Most firms though, everyone wants to have access to it, so you can install the software on as many computers as you want. You know, you can get one username or more usernames. Um, number of concurrent users is our kind of metric between plans. Uh, so 
you can install it on a thousand computers, but only one person can be in there at any given time. That changes. And um, I can email this pricing if ever anyone's interested, but um, a few other, I guess, highlights. For a browser client, it's not uncommon for them to have on-demand requests. So it's definitely not an either-or decision, like should I get the browser or am I more on demand? We have lots of firms that use browser that handles 80% of what they need or more. They reach out when they have the occasional need for uh, an on-demand project, and they get discounts uh, for that. Um, we can grab videos, $20 a video for our clients, um, and then just different levels of support. And um, again, our stuff's meant for legal, so we can do affidavits. We do that quite uh, quite often. Any um, questions? You know, I kind of went through some things a little quicker there. No questions. Awesome. Well, hey, um, I appreciate, uh, again, everyone spending uh, some of your morning here on Friday with us. If you have any questions for me, um, you can reach me at uh, pagefault.com. I'm, I'm Patrick again. Um, and then, Paul, if anyone you know reaches out to you, just uh, let me know if I can we'll help send in any them way. your way. That's the purpose of these Coffee Pot webinars. There's a lot of cool stuff in there that can be used with World Docs or Practice Masters Document Management or, or Tabs or any of the products that are our core products. But we don't do nearly as much justice in demonstrating them or selling them as the, the company does. And that's not really when you're, you're looking to make our money. So, yeah, we will send everybody we hear about uh, that's interested your way, Patrick. Well, good deal. Yeah, I'm going to um, go ahead and take over. I really appreciate your, your taking the time to, to show us that, Patrick. Um, yeah, no worries. And I'm going to then end with what... Everybody's probably bailing at this point because they know if they've been to any of our online live presentations before, they know that the last thing I do is show people how to get to the content that lives on our website, including this webinar. Uh, if you go to attorneycomputersystems.com, notice the emphasis on that last S in the word systems, you will get to a place where you can either hover over or click on the word videos in the menu. And when you click on it, you get to a more detailed description of what the titles are. And so I will tell you that we have four live events. You are currently in a coffee pot webinar. Uh, and we also have three virtual user group meetings, one for tabs, one for practice master, one for world docs, our, our main core products. Uh, and we also have um, two pre-recorded uh, video series. Mary Jo uh, has her eBytes video series. These are little short two, three, sometimes four minute videos where we take a really cool thing about one of our core products that we know we can explain very quickly and that we know that everybody should know. And Mary Jo records a video about it. She records one of these each month for each of the three core products, Tab, Practice Master, and World Docs. And then we also have our Paul and Mary Jo show. Yes, it's really called the Paul and Mary Jo show. And Mary Jo or I will record one of these each month. They're kind of like e-bites, but they're for things that are deeper or more broad in nature and take longer to get to the bottom of. So we'll take 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes covering all the bases on a more complex topic. Again, about World Docs, Tabs 3, or Practice Master. I'm going to go ahead and click on the more info for Coffee Pot webinars, since that's where you are, and explain that once you get there, you will find all the videos in that series Starting with, if it's a live event, the next available, uh, next regularly scheduled, uh, I asked Patrick how old he was, I think he said 35, and we were talking about something. I guess being able to tell who called you based on their area code, not being true <laughs> anymore. Uh, next regularly scheduled is also something old that Patrick probably doesn't remember from the days of, of black and white television. Our next regularly scheduled webinar, if it's a, uh, or VUG, virtual user group meeting, if it's a live event, will be listed at the top. Uh, we used to have links to register, so those of you that are looking for those, we don't anymore. We just got rid of them and put the, put the uh, fields right there on the screen. So if you want to sign up for a webinar or a virtual user group meeting, you just fill out the form and hit the submit button. Uh, and then as you scroll down, you will find the pre-recorded versions of everything we've ever done. Now, this is 
And this is Page Vault, um, and it's currently in post-production because you're currently looking at it. Uh, so uh, that one's not ready yet. It will be in about oh, a week or two. Uh, and uh, if you're watching this uh, live, then you'll get notification when it's ready in case you want to show it to somebody else. Uh, but as you scroll down further, you will see recorded versions of everything else we've ever done. Uh, you'll notice there are 19 pages with five videos per page just for the Coffee Pot webinar series. We have somewhere between 800 and 900 videos on our site, uh, ranging from the virtual user group meetings to this Coffee Pot webinar series to those e-bites and Paul and Mary Jo shows that I told you about. Uh, you can also, if you're not a, you know, a browser, and you're not someone who likes to just look like, you know, walking through the store looking for something. You can also click the search button and type a term and find all the webinars that have been done uh, or all the video content that's been done with that particular word in the in the description or the title. So please, everybody, take advantage of these. They are available for you free of charge, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 365 days a year, unless, of course, it's leap year. We don't shut down even for leap day. So when it's leap year, it's 366 days a year, I guess. That's it for today. Everybody have a good rest of the day and a good rest of the month, and we will see you next month. Thanks so much. Bye -bye. Thanks again, Paul. Take care, everyone.